Christians have a world to reclaim and regain for God. The enemy has brought about vast destruction, death, and wickedness. Prayer opens up God's armory with its superior weapons. If we think we don't need to pray, then we don't know what we are up against. If we think that we can manage on our own achievements, then we simply make ourselves the devil's laughing stock. To be prayerless means to be defenseless. The first key to effective prayer is simple. Cherish the word of God. Let's read from John chapter 15, verse 7. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. To pray, simply follow the ground rules. There are conditions, but none that are so impossible to fulfill. Ask with faith in God. We cannot ask too much and blow a fuse by overloading the demand on divine help. Ask, that is Christ's command. So you cannot be outside the will of God by asking, but you can be if you don't ask. Don't come apologetically in case you are asking inappropriately or outside God's will. Our job is to ask anyway and let God decide how to act. It will not upset him whatever we ask. We can worry so much about God's will that we never have any faith at all or maybe never pray. We have made it such a mark of high piety to ask only for what God wants that it contradicts what Jesus said in John chapter 15, verse 7. Ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. Intercession has always been a crucial component for us when preparing for our gospel campaigns. I learned the importance of intercession as a young man, and I learned it in a way that I could not easily forget. As a young missionary in Africa, I visited a certain mission station. It was a very hot day and I was very thirsty, so I drank water from a well, not knowing that that water was polluted. Shortly after that, I became very sick. Fever was raging in my veins day after day. In my delirium, I had some hallucinations. I saw something like a black blanket floating down descending on me and I thought this is death I am dying but suddenly I heard a voice somebody praying for me it was the voice of a lady in my father's church 8,000 kilometers away there in North Germany she was pleading to God on my behalf to spare my life. And that moment, the fever broke. I slowly recovered. I wrote a letter to my father. I said, please go to that lady and ask her what happened to her on that date. When the reply came, I was deeply moved. That lady said, that very specific day, the Holy Spirit woke her up early in the morning, saying to her, intercede for Reinhardt. He is dying in Africa. She prayed for hours until she said she had a breakthrough. There in Germany, and my fever broke there in Lesotho that day. I learned something about the power of intercessory prayer. It works.